Hey, this is Carlos GGS from Guitar God Secrets. Welcome back. I've got cool stuff for you today. We're going to talk about trilling. Trilling is one of those skills that you got to have, but it's one of the ones that your fingers always seem to fight you on. It's like your, your hands don't want to obey you when you do it. Trilling is simply the repeated hammer on and pull off between two notes. Okay, so done really quickly would be. And we're doing our uh, A minor, of course. And as was done so beautifully by uh, Randy Rhodes in his uh, Revelation Mother Earth, um, the, the effect can actually be really cool, especially in a classical context. So what you can do to really build on this skill, and you need to build on this skill, is to work a very simple exercise I'm going to give you, and here's how it goes. First of all, we're going to start on the high E string, of course in A minor, but it doesn't really matter because what we're doing is kind of chromatic. This is one of the few times you'll see me recommending a somewhat non-musical exercise. So here's how it goes. We're gonna go from one, or excuse me, the first finger, but on the fifth fret, to the sixth fret with one and two of your fingers. Okay, and you can do this in a more classical way where you stay very perpendicular to the, to the frets and to the neck. Um, really, if you're gonna make the change, you have to be consistent with whatever it is you're doing as a run, but as long as you stay consistent with it, you'll be fine in terms of speed. It's when you change between parallel to slightly angled that things start to get a little bit tricky. I'll talk about that in another video, but for now, five to six, five to seven, five to eight. Then we move up one fret, we do six to seven, to eight, and then we go from six to seven, six to eight, and then from seven to eight. Okay, so the trickiest one for you will be the one where we're going from seven to eight because your third and fourth fingers don't work very well independently. Uh, there's lots of little tricks for this. I'm sure you've seen the one where you put your hand on a table and you try and lift each one of the fingers independently and of course the first the second the second's easy the fourth is even easy but when you try and lift that third it just seems to fight you that's because there's a shared tendon between these two fingers and it also doesn't work so well between the pinky and ring finger so this is gonna be a great exercise for you to get that finger independence again five six five seven five eight then six seven six eight seven eight So there you go, quick little exercise. You can work that across the strings uh, in the same position and then of course start up at the top. Okay, and if you wanna really work that those fingers, just do the third and fourth fingers. All the way across and all the way down. That one alone, just, just sitting here going like this. A little while. You're gonna to start to feel this. It's gonna to start to get really tiring. You're gonna be like, oh my God, I don't know if I can keep this up. My hands are locking up. And that's really when you do need to stop because you can cause yourself an injury. Be very careful. Um, somebody actually commented in one of the videos talking about hand injuries. And you've gotta be very, very careful when you're playing guitar. It's very easy to get injuries at a certain point if you're not paying attention to what you're doing. Keep the left hand relaxed. Keep the right hand relaxed for that matter. Keep the left hand relaxed. And if you feel any pain, you must stop. Okay, build up slowly and you'll get much further. A little trilling exercise, I encourage you to do that because what it's gonna do is it's gonna increase your speed all the way around for any kind of uh, legato especially. And building that finger independence. Look, if you love this video, and I'm sure you did, you're just absolutely dying for more, do what you know you gotta do. Down there in the corner, you see it, don't you? There's a little URL called guitargodsecrets.com. I want you to go there, I want you to sign up on the newsletter, get the cool videos I've got for you there, and you'll find out my number one practice hack. Because you gotta know how to practice right if you're gonna do this thing right. This is Carlos GGS from Guitar God Secrets. Live to play, play to live.